everybody, this is me and in today's video I'm going to be doing some show jumping in the school at home. However, I actually have ordered some new show jumps and they arrived today so I'm going to be sort of unwrapping them and setting them up because um, recently as you know I've got my A-level exams coming up so I've been quite busy and I don't have as much time at the moment to be able to get Casper in the trailer, take him somewhere different to do schooling and jumping and things and at the moment I only actually own two jump stands, the other jump stands that I have are basically like the barrels or like tyres and things so I have been saving up for a long long time like almost years now to get some new jumps so I've ordered three jump stands and like lots of spooky fillers, I've also got a water tray so let's get them set up now okay so I have a spanner and a mallet because I now need to put the legs onto the jump stand so here I've got a leg let's put them on I could probably just do it like that uh, there we go it's still going <laughs> Okay, time to attach the legs. Oh yeah, I've got the mallet for this. Okay, two down, four more to go. Okay, let's get these scary fillers open. Ooh! It's a rainbow! so cool so you can hang it up like that or you can have it that way up Ta -da! <laughs> we have a filler oh we can just unwrap it like that oh it's a spooky one guys And on the other side, wow, that actually looks really cool. Now that's spooky. I'm not sure what Casper's going to think to this filler, but it's definitely bold. <laughs> With new jump stands and new fillers, you've got to get some new poles as well. And the poles I actually currently have, we decided to go for the ones that are really light because we thought, oh, that will be great. We can move them around easily. The thing is, Casper knows that they're light, so he on purpose just goes through the jump so that's why we usually use the planks because they're heavier so I've actually finally decided to get some heavy poles this time so I'm really excited to open these up it also means because I only have like a few poles it means I can do more like pole work exercises and things also when we did grid work before we literally could only put like three jumps up as a grid Okay guys, I've now set up all the jumps, so they're actually standing now. I've unwrapped everything and I actually feel quite mean because all of the things I've ordered are things that Casper is a little bit spooky with because he's not the most bold horse. So I've got a rainbow, really brightly coloured, in your face filler. I've also got a water tray which Casper sometimes not so keen on. Some water trays he's fine with, but some he sort of is like, oh my gosh, that's a dark... Oh, hello there. I also decided to get a water tray as well because sometimes they can be really spooky and it's something that you don't usually get to see that often in show jumping training, it's only really at competitions so I thought I'd get one of those and try them out with him. I also thought I'd go for an arrowhead as well, however Casper is pretty good at skinnies, like he never runs out, his thing is just stopping completely but um, I thought that would be good because 
I actually haven't really been able to practice oxes at home and with this you can decide how like wide you want it and how high you want it so I thought that would be really cool so I'm also really excited about these jump stands because as I've said I haven't been able to do an oxer so now I have enough jump stands to actually be able to make oxes when I make a course at home and lastly I have got this filler which looks so spooky it's like loads of little triangles it's almost like an optical illusion so anyway let's get all these jumps set up Okay guys, so I've just set up the jumps ready for tomorrow because I'm not actually going to ride tonight because it's starting to get really dark because I've spent all today basically just studying for my exams. So I'm going to jump Casper tomorrow. Obviously I am going to put the jumps down a bit for tomorrow because I think he might be just a little bit spooky with some of the new fences. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, it's now the next day and again I've been doing work all morning, I've been doing chemistry today. It's actually been really bad weather, it's been windy, it's been rainy, so I'm not really sure what Casper's going to be like with the wind and also with the new jumps. Some days he can be really spooky, some days he can be really strong, or sometimes he, days he can be really lazy and really chilled, so I'm not sure what he's going to be like. They actually have a really good article in this month's issue of Pony Magazine, all about different types of horses, so here you can see a about lazy, strong, spooky. So I'm not really sure what Casper's gonna be like today. Some days when I'm just riding in our own arena, he can be really lazy, really chilled, really just like laid back. But because we're jumping and because it's windy, he can sometimes get a little bit stronger. And especially with the new fences, he might be a little bit spooky. So anyway, let's get Casper tacked up. just walked into the arena and Casper's already looking at all the brightly coloured fences. He's like, hmm, what are those? Hey, bub? Can you see? So I'm just going to walk him round and let him look at everything because obviously it's all a little bit new to him and I'm going to be asking him a lot of questions today. So, what do you think, bub? <laughs> Good boy. very lucky he's had like a little spook already just because he also hasn't been ridden for quite a while so I don't really blame him but I think he's spooked when we went around the corner he hadn't seen the other side of one of the fillers so I'm gonna go and let him have a little look at that you can see it OK, 
Okay, so I've just warmed up Casper. We've had a walk trot and canter on both reins, done a couple of circles and transitions. Now I'm going to just pop him over a cross pole just as a warm up, and then afterwards we'll probably make it into a full course. Okay guys, I hope you can hear me because it is really windy because we've still got Storm Freya and the weather is absolutely horrible today. Actually, some of the fences fell down because it was so windy, but it keeps going like a massive gust of wind and then it's fine. So we've managed to jump every single jump. We only had two refusals. One was at the water tray, which I was expecting because he hasn't jumped a water tray for like a year or something. And then the other fence that he stopped at was the rainbow fence. And that's because it was on a corner and it just came up too quickly for me. So um, I didn't give him a very good line, so it was kind of my fault for him refusing that. But apart from that, I was so happy with him. He hasn't knocked any poles either. He literally has jumped everything I've asked him to. So I'm just going to finish off by jumping a little course and then we'll finish for the day because he's been such a good boy. Okay guys, I've just finished my round with Casper. He was so good. Literally, once he's jumped something, he's completely fine with it if it's like spooky or things. So all of the fillers he didn't even look at. So something that I was doing today, because he was a little bit spooky, I was just riding him forward quite a bit. And um, he really trusted me in the end and jumped all of the fences. And at the beginning of the session, we could barely get him over the water tray. I had to stand with it for a while, let him have a look at it, let him have a sniff. But that time he literally didn't even look at it as if it wasn't there. So I was really, really happy with that. And he jumped a really nice round at the end. We just had one unfortunate pole where I just asked him to take off a little bit early and he just got his back leg on it. But to be honest, I don't really mind that. He just did so well today, jumping all of the spooky fences. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Good boy.